Morning everyone, Chris here. Been a while, life's been busy, hectic, the usual, you know, that type of junk. But I am finally here, ready to do a M3 Plus, not a review, but more of an unboxing, kind of a test shooting. I haven't even shot it, to be honest, besides the first, uh, I guess, hopper I put through it, maybe when I, when I, when I first got it. But now the video's here, and let's, let's go ahead and check it out. Okay. So we got Dai's new M3 Plus here. This has been out for a couple weeks now, so you guys are probably are all familiar with the changes between this and the M3S. But let's go ahead and do an unboxing here. It comes in the case like so. This is the typical, what we're all used to with the M2 Moss Air M3S. Uh, it comes with the charging pad. And inside the case, just, just like the last several guns that have come out from Dai, it's all the same. That's your startup guide, barrel sock. This is the new die uh, ULS barrel. Probably do a shooting video with this just so I can check it out. This is a really cool print. If I ever sell this kind of print, I want to keep this barrel. Let's put it on the 8.4. Any lube over here? One second, I'm gonna grab some lube. I wanna I don't know these threads when they're or screwing the threads when they're dry. Okay, y'all know me. I gotta lube, lube the threads. So I don't want the, uh, I don't want that squeaking, and I don't want. Yeah, so I'll just put a little bit of lube on these threads. Put that to the side. And what else are we get in here? We get a little M3S. I'm sorry, M3 Plus parts kit. Looks like it comes with those new detents. I wonder how often we have to. To replace those comes with a good number of those all right a couple of bolt tips o-rings screws and then the usb update cable is this longer than the dsi one probably is because it's also good for charging okay then we'll go on to the other half of the case and this is what everybody cares about uh, lube allen key or multi-set i should say and then here's the gun. So big differences between this and the M3S are probably, you know, I think I think it's pretty significant. I think I think the differences between the bolt and the ASA are significant enough to uh, justify the release. Let me grab the M3S. Okay, so the differences between these two, you can see right away. First off is the ASA. That rhymed. So we're all used to this style for the last. Well, I don't know, since the, what, the DM, like maybe the DM-10? No. Well, should I have on the wall? DM-11 is when this one came out, actually. And this is just operated simply by this little lever here. People need to remember, I've seen some comments on Nation that they have been playing and their gun will degas itself. See this little nub right here? You do need to push, listen, hear that? You do need to push the ASA lever past that nub. Same thing goes with the DSR. You have to, you can't just do this and it'd be good. You have to push it past that. So it's not gonna come loose. Anyway, so that's the old ASA. Here's the new one. This thing is pretty slick. It's very similar. I don't wanna, I don't wanna say it's similar, but it is, you know, it's, 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 it's what we, are all used to with the like, Inception's designs and more important like the pops I say from Planet Eclipse, but it, it's so it's different enough to where it's worth mentioning um, that, that that it's not similar actually. So to to degas this one, you got to pull down and then it comes forward like that. So you see that? So it comes down and forward. I think they call this a slap ASA or something. It's because when you put the tank on, you're supposed to like slap it on. But check that out. Give a little indication arrow. It's on both sides here. Picked up a new camera. This thing looks pretty good on camera. So that's one of the big changes with the M3 Plus. Also, this trigger, this has been so popular. I may or may not have had something to do with this because I sold probably 50 of them for the DSR. And here's one for the M3S. 
but this Billy Wang style trigger is the way to go. So they made that the factory trigger on the M3 Plus. I think it's perfect. It, it's real snappy. It's I don't know. you can set this up however you want. This is just from the factory, and I think it's I think it's perfect. All right, so moving on to the next. So the, the trigger's new, ASA's new. We got a new eye pipe. Now, let me pull this out too. Now they made these things stronger in years past. Uh, maybe maybe M2 might have been the first one to have this. So this is only, th th this generation is only maybe two or three years old, I think two years old. They just came out with this one. This is the new generation and this works in all of the, you know, die guns now. Um, differences are, you can see the detents. They don't kind of, they don't wrap around, they're kind of on their own. Not just different color, but they actually function differently. I don't know if this is any thicker. I can't tell just by looking at it, but so this is one difference between the M3S and the M3 Plus. I haven't tried this eye pipe in my DSR. I don't have any problems with my DSR, but I've heard that this is supposed to help with paint breakage, but I only have that whenever it's, you know, the worst paint that you can get. So that's another difference. I feel like these ones go in easier. Could be wrong. Yeah, that was just as easy. Okay. Uh, next, we'll do the bolt. So here's the M3. S bolt and then the M3 plus bolt. I was sort of disappointed to see that. Oh, this will show up on the screen. Oops, flashlight. There. Let me see. Hang on. Make this more uh, direct. Oh, do you can see that? That milling deep in there, see how it's, I don't know, it's some air passage up right. It's not even worth mentioning, but it just bugs me that it's there. I thought they would have fixed that because it's not really here on the M3S. But here is the, it is here on the M3 Plus. Anyway, bolt differences between the two. From what I understand, it's basically just the tip. They came out with a new tip for the M3S. Um, fairly soon after its release. And I think that they just incorporated that in a better way with a soft tip into the M3 Plus. It's also made of a different material. I think it's supposed to be easier on maintenance, supposed to last longer in between maintenance. It's supposed to be a softer shot versus, versus the aluminum. Focus, there we go. Everything else is basically identical. It's cool when they come out with this innovative stuff. And I'm pretty positive this can obviously work right in here. So if you ever can get your hands on one, you can plus your, your S. Get that back in here. Okay. So that's the differences between the M3. Oh, I should mention too, there is also a different, I'm sure you guys all know, a different solenoid housing, which is um, another pretty significant difference between this and the, and, the, and the S. It's supposed to give you more efficiency and I think a different sh feel, you know, when it shoots. Um, again, I've only shot this thing, Let's see if it's been charged. Okay, it says it has 14 shots, so maybe I, I haven't even shot this yet. Um, I thought I had, but I'm pretty sure you can reset that. All right, bear with me for a second. Okay, so I do have 329 shots on here. So as I thought, I did shoot this thing, I think it looks like just maybe one hopper. So while I have the camera out, why don't we go ahead and... and Shoot this thing real quick with the ULS barrel. Cool. That looks good. 
All right, so let's go ahead and shoot this thing. I got some paint here from NXL Chicago, so it's, it's getting old. I'm gonna use it up. I'm outside, it's cold as hell out. I'm trying to make this quick. I'm gonna show you how this thing airs up. So you just, again, basically you wanna just basically push back and up at the same time. But that's that, that's the motion that it's doing. But all I really have to do is push it on like that. So again, the V gas, just pull it down, turn it on, just give it a little, give it a little push, and she's on. Turn her on. This is that paint from Chicago. Let's put that right here. And again, this is directly out of the box. That's enough. It already, it's all, I can tell already it's smoother than the S. I haven't shot this thing since I got it, which was, you guys all saw the pictures months ago. Let's figure out what the chronograph is at. 259, 250, so she's low, 245, 245. I'm gonna grab a tool real quick, one second. Let's start recording. That's why it's so smooth, because it's, Shooting really low. Seems about right. right. Even at that, still 279, 281. Well, I mean, here maybe you can even see it. 281. Yeah, I wouldn't read. 276. Seventy-seven, two eighty-one, two seventy-seven, two seventy-six, two seventy-seven, two seventy-six, two eighty-four. Okay, so we got it up where where it should be. We're gonna do a quick little quick little shooting here. So I'm film here. Okay, so that was the first, not the first, but that was about, you know, 80% of a hopper. Right out of the, you know, bag, I can feel that it's definitely smoother <clears throat> than, the, than the S. It feels quieter, or sounds quiet, I should say. And just the way that it's kicking back versus, it sort of has a DSR shot to it, but not, not quite. I mean, let me do a little bit more here. Don't do much. Don't piss off the neighbors. It still has kind of that snappy shot, but it's smoother. I don't know how to describe it. it feels like it's shooting hot now. Oh yeah, definitely. Three twenty-two. That one broke. That one broke. That one broke. She's definitely shooting hot. Okay. I'm pretty positive she was shooting hot that, that entire little clip. That seems about right. Alright, well, I broke paint because I was shooting at like 400 feet per second. That's annoying. But just judging by the way it felt when it shot, it was, it was pretty cool. Um, let me clean this barrel up and I'll shoot it again. One second. Okay, clean the barrel. Um, 
so if you're shooting at Ninety six. Oh, that's gonna show up on the screen. Three oh two. Two ninety one. Two ninety six. Yeah, she was shooting way hot. So you can see upper two nineties. Yeah, that's so much better. Okay. Ignore everything I said in the first minute of this video. It shoots way different right now. Yeah, that shoots really good actually. No. Alright, so now with a proper test. <laughs> that shoots pretty well. Um, I don't know if I would say I like it more than the DSR, but I'd like it a lot more than the M3S. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's good they put that trigger on there much better than the other one. I don't know what that one's even called, the reach trigger. Let's even consider that. Okay, I'm gonna go inside. It's cold out. It's like 20 degrees out here, I think, today. Cool, okay, well that's the first shooting video. I've had time with the M3 Plus. Sorry, it's been, it's taken a while. Like I said earlier, life's been hectic as always. It's gotten even more hectic. And, um, but we're working on it. Uh, been focusing on other stuff too. I don't know if you've seen my other channel, Poffer Garage. I'm way into cars. I've been trying to get more content on that channel. Not to plug it right here on the M3 Plus video, but that's what I've been doing, in case you're wondering. Uh, yeah, so I don't know if you noticed what chronograph I was using. That's the uh, carbon chronograph. I got that at World Cup. I haven't had too much time to play around with it, but it's a pretty sweet little, little tool. Uh, I'll make a video of that here for you guys real quick also. So, Alright guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.